Possess the land, possess the land, possess the land. What are you waiting for? It's time to rise. What are you waiting for? Proverbs 25, verse 1 through 28, the Proverbs of Solomon. These are some more wise sayings from Solomon. These Proverbs were copied by servants of Hezekiah, the king of Judah. We honor God for the things he keeps secret, but we honor kings for the things they can discover. We cannot discover how high the sky is above us or how deep the earth is below. The same is true with the minds of kings. We cannot understand them. Remove the worthless things from silver to make it pure, and a worker can make something beautiful. Take the evil advisors away from a king, and goodness will make his kingdom strong. Don't brag about yourself before the king and pretend you are someone important. It is much better for the king to invite you to take a more important position than to embarrass you in front of his officials. Don't be 
quick, too quick to tell a judge about something you saw. You will be embarrassed if someone else proves you wrong. If you want to tell your friends about your own problems, tell them, but don't discuss what someone told you in private. Whoever hears it will lose their respect for you and will never trust you again. Saying the right thing at the right time is like a golden apple in a silver setting. Wise advice to a listening ear is like gold earrings on fine jewelry. To his master who sent him, a messenger who can be trusted is as refreshing as a cold drink of water on a hot summer day. People who promise to give gifts but never give them are like clouds and wind that bring no rain. With patience, you can make everyone change their thinking, even a ruler. Gentle speech is very powerful. Honey is good, but don't eat too much of it or you will be sick. And don't visit your neighbor's homes too often or they will begin to hate you. A person who gives false testimony against a neighbor is as deadly as a club, a sword, or a very sharp arrow. Never depend on a liar in times of trouble. It's like chewing with a bad tooth or walking with a crippled foot. Singing happy songs to a sad person is as foolish as taking a coat off on a cold day or mixing soda and vinegar if your enemies are hungry give them something to eat if they are thirsty give them some water this will make them feel the burning pain of shame and the Lord will reward you for being good to them just as wind blowing from the north brings rain telling secrets brings anger it is better to live in a small corner of the, of the roof than to share the house with a woman who is always arguing. Good news from a faraway place is like a cool drink of water when you are hot and thirsty. Good people who don't stand strong against evil are like springs that have been polluted or pools that have turned dirty and muddy. Just as eating too much honey is not good, it is not good for people to always be looking for honor. People who cannot control themselves are like cities without walls to protect them. Proverbs 25, 1 through 28. Amen. Hey. Like Eileen Ministries here, private and personal chef services. And we are praying with you, delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what? Period. In Christ Jesus' name. Guess what day it is? It is the hey 25. And day 25, we have read Proverbs 25, 1 through 28. And we're going to continue to possess the land that God has given us. And in this land has wisdom. Project Jericho, we will break down the walls in our hearts and in our minds so we can continue to allow wisdom to come in and transform us by renewing our heart and our mind. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Project Noah, Noah was the only one obedient to God's voice and work in his time, especially when God warns people about a flood. And he was the only one dedicated and we want to be dedicated and obedient to God's word as we continue to put wisdom in our lands. Let's possess the land, break down the walls, and remain obedient to the Most High God. Like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we are praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what to the world, what, what? Period in Christ Jesus' name. Now, what we're going to do now, y'all? Y'all know what we about to do. We about to, we about to, we about to, we about to. Let's pray. We need more of you, yeah. You provide the fire. Now 
help with that the sacrifice. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, the Bible was formed before I got here. So the Proverbs of Solomon were discovered and copied by the aids of King Hezekiah of Judah. And for this, Father, we are grateful that there is men out there ready and able to provide wisdom to those who believe. Heavenly Father, thank you for these men who committed to making your presence known in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we honor you for the things you kept secret. It's a privilege to discover and invent the things that you have placed here on earth for us to discover and invent. Heavenly Father, I pray we discover and invent things that pursues your kingdom in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, you created the heavens and the earth who really knows how high the heavens are who really knows what size the earth is or what goes on in each other's minds heavenly father i pray the whole world come to understand your love come to know your love come to feel your love come to encourage one another to continue to love as you love us in christ jesus name heavenly father i pray we do what is just and fair in christ jesus name Heavenly Father, I pray we are patient enough to get an invitation in all our affairs in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we are not hot-headed and rushed to court. Heavenly Father, I pray we discuss the matter privately and not discuss it, and then we cannot withdraw from it. Heavenly Father, give us the ability to do what is right in Christ Jesus' name. I pray you guide our affairs so we can manage our relationships in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray you we allow respect, love, peace, joy, gentleness, and self-discipline to flow in our relationships no matter the relationship and on our affairs no matter the affair in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, timely advice is as lovely as golden apples in a silver basket. It is a badge of honor to accept valid criticism. Heavenly Father, I pray we allow timely advice to guide us in Christ Jesus' name. All we do and all we do, I pray, we give timely advice to those who need it in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we accept valid criticism and give valid criticism in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we are I pray we are faithful employees and I pray you send faithful employees our way so that we can do our business endeavors in faithfulness in Christ Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I pray we do as we promised in Christ Jesus name. I pray we continue to keep our word in Christ Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I pray we are faithful and we will win in Christ Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to walk in patience in Christ Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I pray we do not consume too much honey or too much of something good will make us sick. Heavenly Father, I pray we do not outwear our welcome as we visit our neighbors in Christ Jesus' name. I pray both parties make boundaries known in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray the spirit of truth falls fresh on those who seek after it in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, if our neighbor is showing signs of lying, I pray you reveal the truth to us in Christ Jesus' name because you are the Father of truth. There is no lie in you. You are not a man that you should lie. Heavenly Father, if there's anyone with a broken heart, please mend it and make them whole again in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we do not allow our joy to make anyone feel out of place in Christ Jesus' name. If our neighbor is weeping, I pray we weep together, be in joy together in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, if our enemy is hungry, give us the ability to feed them in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, if they are thirsty, give us the ability to give them something to drink in Christ Jesus' name. For the God above our gods will see this and allow us to flourish in his kingdom in Christ Jesus name heavenly father a retort causes anger I pray we tell the storm of anger peace be still in Christ Jesus name the storm of suicide depression anxiety peace be still in Christ Jesus name heavenly father I pray if we are a married woman I pray our homes are not filled with 
with our quarreling or our crankiness in Christ Jesus' name. I pray we allow peace, love, joy, gentleness, and self-discipline to take root in our homes in Christ Jesus' name, to take root in our children in Christ Jesus' name, to take root in our husbands in Christ Jesus' name, to take root within us women in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we come into the recognition that there is a there is good news, and that news is Christ Jesus has risen to save you, me, and us from the pits of hell to his glorious heaven here on earth through his blood heavenly father honor comes only from you so have your way in our lives as you order our steps to give you glory in the name of christ jesus heavenly father i pray we do not compromise with our wicked nature or any wickedness around us in christ jesus name but remember whose we are in christ jesus name heavenly father a man or a woman without self-control is de- is a defenseless as a city with broken down walls. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to be a city on a hill, showing people there is hope in you, showing people there is hope in Christ Jesus that died and shed his blood for us on Calvary. Heavenly Father, there is hope in you. And when we find ourselves hopeless, there is hope in the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony that he will continue to make way out and away for us. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to be a city on the hill, showing people there is hope. There is hope in Christ Jesus. There is hope in Christ Jesus. There is joy in Christ Jesus. There is love in Christ Jesus. There is self-discipline in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for it all. Thank you for the blood of the Lamb. And last but not least, there is a victory in Christ Jesus. And that's why we will continue to keep being victorious in Christ Jesus. We're going to keep being victorious by allowing wisdom to come into our hearts and in our minds. As we break down the walls in our hearts and in our minds. And allow wisdom in to put things in order in Christ Jesus' name. I pray we continue to trust in the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God that continues to set us free. The Lamb of God that continues to show us which way to go. The Lamb of God that shed His blood so that the Comforter will come. The Lamb of of God that continues to show us which way to go because he walked the walk and talked the talk and was everything and more. The Lamb of God that continues to make us remember that he is here and he is strong and mighty in power and he is the Lord and he is the Lord of our, that is our light and our salvation. In Christ Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, thank you for it all. Thank you for day 25. This is progress, not perfection. We are not perfect. Only Christ was, and we're trying to be like him. Not his perfection, but we're trying to be the people blood-washed and saved by the blood of the Lamb. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for allowing us to pray with you, Lakailini Ministries, Private and Personal Chef Services. Delivering kingdom business, what to the what, 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 period. Being victorious with Christ Jesus. In this segment, we pray and declare the Bible, spiritual songs, and hymns. We do this to remain aligned with the victory that comes with the blood of Christ Jesus. Thanks for watching.